Hi everyone. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. It's our pleasure to meet you again at MA3051. I'm Edi Tribaskoro from FMIPA ITB. This section is about reliable networks. Enjoy listening. For the applications, at chapter 1, we have talked about the shortest path problem. And in chapter 2, we discussed the connector problem. And now, in the end of the chapter 3, we will talk about reliable networks. We have known the concept of the connectivity in a graph. Let's say we have a communication network N. And the connectivity or edge connectivity is defined as the smallest number of communication stations or communication links who break down would jeopardize communication in the system. The higher the connectivity and edge connectivity, the more reliable the networks, right? And if N is a tree, the communication network is a tree, then it's not very reliable. Because one edge uh, broken, then will jeopardize the communication in that system. Yeah. Or if one vertex is broken, then again, the communication will be uh, disconnected. So, what kind of graph? is n, which is better than a tree. So we have the general problems in the following, that we call that problem minimum k connected spanning subgraph. Let k be positive integer and g be a weighted graph, find a minimum weight k connected spanning subgraph of G. If K is equal 1, then this problem actually is a connector problem that we have discussed in the chapter 2. If K is greater than equals 2, then this problem is unsolved and difficult problem. But if G is a complete, then the problem becomes easier. Now, consider the problem of finding minimum K connected spanning subgraph of G if G is a complete graph on N vertices. What we meant by minimum here, the connected subgraph has the number of edges as small as, as possible. So, for this problem, Harari gave a very nice construction of M connected graph on N vertices with minimum number of edges. Let F M comma N be the least number of edges of a M connected graph on N vertices. Since the graph is M connected, then the minimum degree of the graph is at least M. So the number of edges must be at least the ceiling of M time M over 2. Thus, we have the function F M comma N at least this number. And Harari provides a M connected graph on N vertices with the number of edges is exactly this number. And these graphs are the example of Harari graph. Now we are going to define what the Harari graph is. We denote by hm, n for the Harari graph. 
the vertices of the graph 0, 1, 2, up to n minus 1. And the edges of the graph is defined depending on the parity of m, n. Case 1, if m is even, m is equals to k, then two vertices i and g are joined if the difference between i and g is at most k in modulo n. This is the example h4,8. That means this graph has 8 vertices from 0 up to 7. And then i and g, two numbers, are joined if the difference is at most 2 here. So for example, 0 we join by 1 and 2. And also we join by 7 because the difference here is 1. And by uh, 6, yeah, because the difference between uh, 6 and 0 is 2, yeah, in modulo 8 here. So for this case, the graph will be in general m regular. For the second case, if m is odd and then m is equals 2k plus 1 and n is even. And the graph will be denoted by its 2k plus 1 comma n is constructed by first drawing its 2k comma n like in the first case and then adding edges from vertex i to this vertex i plus n over 2 for this i from 1 up to n over 2. So for example, we have the graph nb, which is h5, 8 here. The number of vertices is 8. First we draw the graph h4, 8 like the first one, and then we add several edges here. For the third case, if m is odd, and then n is odd. And the graph is constructed by first drawing the graph like in the first case, and then adding edges joining vertex 0 to vertices n minus 1 over 2, and n plus 1 over 2, and edges from vertex i to this vertices, yeah? from i from 1 up to n minus 1 over 2. So, for this case, we have this kind of example, h5, 9. So, first we draw the h4, 9 yeah? by the first case, and then we add additional uh, edges, yeah, connecting from 0 to this one, and then from other vertices. So this graph will be uh, n vertices, and then in each case will be m connected graph. We will show this kind of nice property in the following theorem. The Harari graph, it's m, n, is m connected. We will prove for the case only for m equals 2k. For other cases, are very similar. We are going to show this graph, the Harari graph, with m is even, has no vertex cut of fewer than 2k vertices. For a contradiction, assume that we have S a vertex cut with the number of elements less than 2k. And now consider i and j, the vertices 
in different components after you remove s from the graph uh, 2k comma n and now define two sets of vertices a and b here a is the set of vertices from i i plus one up to j and then b is the set of vertices j j plus one up to i yeah with addition here in modulo n so that means if you draw the harari graph in circle yeah the vertices in circle uh, then from i to j is uh, the first part of the circle and then the second one from j to i yeah so since the number of elements in s is less than 2k then we can assume without loss of the generality here the set A contains less than k elements in S. Then there is clearly a sequence of distinct vertices in A uh, minus S, yeah, that are different at most k. So that means this vertices or this sequence of vertices will forming a path from i to j in this subgraph yeah after you remove s from the harari graph so that means vertices i and j are connected after you removing s so a contradiction because we assume in above that s is a vertex k. Hence, this graph must be 2k connected. So, this is the end of this section. Thank you very much for watching. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.